Perfect. So now that we have the image component, we can use that. So we can say image, and I'm pretty confident it must have already imported that on top like it has, which is great. And then where do we have this image available? Let's see. So we've got these images available here. So what I'm going to do is I'll say source URL. I'm going to say product. Okay. And then images. And then the first item, right? This is the first image we're going to use. Because the rest of the images, if they are available, like in other products, can be used for the gallery. So like these ones, there are more than one image available. So that can be used for gallery. But here, that's what we're looking for. If it's not available, then just keep it empty. And then, and then I think it's inside of the source. So we have the source available. So let's break it in, into a different line. So this is going to be source. In my opinion, it's going to be better if we pull this on top so it looks more clean. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this whole thing and I'm going to say return. There we go. And then pull the image on top. So we'll say const image equals this like so. Okay. Image.source. It's great. And then we have the alt as well. So let's do alt text equals image dot alt text. Okay. There we go. And let's see what else it expects. It expects you to pass the title as well. So title will basically be used as a default in case if the alt text is not available. So title is going to be the product title. So product.name here. There we go. Optional chaining. What else we have? That's it, I guess. So let's see what we got here. And if I restart the development server, okay, and we need to pass the width and height property as well. So we do width. So width is going to be, uh, let's see what we got here. So if you remember, we had put 380 by 380, right? So let's do 380 oops, by 380. So height 380. Let's start a development server. Compile successfully. Refresh. Okay. Now, there is one more thing we need to do. As you can see, it says invalid source prop. And it says that hostname mydemo.coditech.com is not configured under images in your next config.js. This means that as long as the image is from the same domain, it's great. But if it is from an external domain, it's not going to uh, output that for security purposes. It's going to ask you to specify that as a hostname. And if you didn't do that, it's not going to render it. Okay, which is, which is pretty great. Because then, uh, you know, we ensure that we are secure. We are not rendering images from anywhere else apart from the one that we tell Next.js to do it. Okay, so let's do that. So what we're going to do is we'll go to our next config.js. And then we are going to create a constant. We're going to create a constant and we'll name it as allowed image WordPress domain. And this is going to get us the WordPress site URL. And we'll pick the host domain from that. So how does this actually work? If you say WordPress domain equals new URL. So what is our uh, backend URL? Our backend URL is mycoditech.com, mydemo.coditech.com. Let's put that there in, in quotes. And then let's hit it. And you check allowed WordPress domain. So what do we have available? We have hostname and that's what we're interested in because remember that's the error we are getting it needs hostname uh, so that means if i do new url dot hostname then i should be able to get this value and that's what is expected here this is the hostname right there we go okay so you've got the hostname which is great we just need to pass that to our config so how do we do that we come back over here we, we put comma and then we paste this information here so it says images, so we pass the image property. Then inside of an object, we pass domains, which will be allowed. In form of an array, we can pass multiple domains. So remember that we've also created a constant uh, where we want to serve from placeholder.com. So you want to ensure that we pass that particular domain, domain as well. So that's why you put that here and allowed image WordPress domain is coming from here. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do. 
and that information is also available on the next year's documentation so if you go over here you can see that you have the domains information available this is how you pass multiple domains okay there's one more thing we need to do we need to fix this spelling mistake this is next config not next year's config factor we go now let's start the development server and hopefully this should work this time compiling congratulations perfect so now as you can see you've got all your products looking lovely looking great and this is coming from the next year's image components if you inspect element you'll notice that this is the source and it's being generated from the next year's image component you've got your source set so it's automatically generating that source set for you right which is which is brilliant actually okay